Good day to you all, it's Kragham here and today we are looking at another scenery set in the form of Cerisa Precision's um, Effective Simplicity World War, World War Europe German Radar Station. Um, so I got this, I picked this up recently from BrickCon and by God I was so happy when I saw this because it's a gorgeous looking model. Um, when it was all in one piece. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, it's not fully put together yet, uh, but you can kind of see an idea of how this uh, will finally look. There's one great thing I always like about Cerise Precision is they put the uh, kind of sketch of it on the box, or well, on the packaging. I know that a few different companies like TT Combat, they normally will do like the final product as a picture or anything like that, but I kind of like the seeing these different angles in a different style, kind of like an illustrated style. Um, so as you can see, it's it's quite a big set actually compared to the one I did before. But um, yeah, let me uh, open up the packaging and we will see what the uh, contents look like before we put something together for you and show you the final product. So here we go. Uh, I've kind of played it out like this because the parts actually have popped out a bit already. Uh, so you only get one sheet. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, you get two sheets. Sorry, I lie. Um, everything, as you can see, is falling apart already, uh, which isn't a bad thing because it saves me cutting it out. Um, so uh, let me just pull these parts. So get two parts. So that's your little hut in there. So then again, how I mentioned last time in the last video. You get the A5 and the A3 sheet, uh, A4, A5 and A4 sheets. Uh, you get a little guide on how to make it. Very simple steps. Uh, it's more a case of with these, I find, is uh, with the wooden sets, is cutting them out is more a pain in the ass than uh, putting them together. It's actually longer to do that. Uh, but a lot of the pieces, if they're big enough, will just kind of uh, pop out, so to speak. So, the, like how you can see there, kind of, it just needs a bit of a little light kind of. And there you go, it's out. So, it, it's a great looking kit already. I can't really comment much because I've not put it fully together. Um, but uh, I like this kind of like, the guide is really good, shows you exactly how to do it. Uh, which is not something you normally get with the other companies because you kind of, you have to search online for some of them if they don't include them in the packaging. Um, but so, you can see this. It's a decent sized thing. I mean, this obviously is, where is it? This is our dish size. So you're kind of thinking that's the dish size. So it's quite a big dish in all honesty, because and like the base of the actual model itself is this big. So it's a good piece of scenery perhaps like to even, you don't necessarily have to attach the building, which has got the, radar to it I don't think um, I think you kind of slot that in so you could essentially have this on say maybe not even necessarily have this base oh there it goes um, <laughs> see it just pops out just pops out I mean obviously that bit, that bit doesn't pop out but that's because that's like a, a rigid bit but so you can see it's a big model so it'd be a great objective for a unit um, what I'll do is I'll give you a little video showing the final product, as always, uh, and then, uh, yeah, can give your own judgments. But I am looking very forward to having this model in my uh, scenery range. So, here we have the final result of a little bit of swearing, uh, a little bit of a breakage once or twice, uh, and quite a lot of unneeded super glue. <laughs> So, as you can see, uh, nice, what, I say little, not little at all. This thing is perfect size for 40k. Um, also for bolt action, any other game system, I admit, I highly admit, but it's great in size. I mean, like, look at that. That, that is next to a 25 millimeter base. That is a big bit of scenery to go on your battlefield. And it's perfect objective. Um, you'll probably be noticing there's a lot of super glue. Um, basically, I had a little incident. Here's a tip: when you're playing with MD with, with like thin wood like this, be very gentle. Be very, 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 very gentle. 
because it will break. Um, yeah, so I was a bit gutted at myself for that. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I mean, as you can see, it's a uh, pretty damn good model still. Um, I'm probably going to put something over these bars here. I don't know. Uh, maybe something just to kind of pad it out and maybe put in a kind of satellite point there um, myself. But this is a, is a small wooden kit which cost me £12.50. I think it was £12.50 at Britcom. Uh, from water, like this is through Warlord Games, um, but it's a uh, Teresa Precision again, as you can see. Uh, it's an absolutely fabulous kit. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Really, just said that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, honestly, it's such a great kit. The size of it and everything. I mean, I again, I will praise these wooden sets till the days go crawling under my arsehole they are so well made like like the box you side of it it's like yeah admittedly you're probably gonna notice these little kind of areas here uh, when they're, they're a lot around but again I probably should have painted this while it was on the sprue but I didn't because I'm a tall hmm but it's it's great like I, I keep putting models next to this one because it's it's so good. I mean, there was obviously the recent video with the playground, um, so you can see the, the the playground. If you ever want a playground next to a radar base or a radar re relay, you can have it now. You can have it with uh, Cerisa Precision. Uh, not much else I can say apart from if you're looking at something for an objective or. You don't want to look into these really expensive models where they are made really finely detailed, all that kind of, for an expensive price, and you're looking for something more quick and kind of simple to go on your battlefield. I mean, this is the thing, I mean, a lot of the models I paint are kind of, they're, they're, they're nicely painted, don't get me wrong, I'm not too my home, but they are nicely painted to my level. But with my scenery, I kind of, I like having lots of different kind of things instead of just having the normal games workshop buildings where they're just plastic walls, plastic walls, plastic walls, pipes. I want I wanted to see something different. So these kind of sets and things like this from uh, what's the name? They they work. They they really bring out the character in a battlefield at a very really really cheap price and a large amount of glue if you don't have the right glue um, and also a lot of swearing if you don't have the right patience as you can see uh, but yeah so I, I, product wise I'd rate this probably 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10 only primarily a few bits were a bit fiddly but I really liked it. I just kind of wish there was a little bit of a like something to go there maybe like on that panel there was like a prong to stick out for the radar but obviously it's World War 2 uh, World War kind of model it's not actually a fan uh, sci-fi one but I feel like it could be a sci-fi one because of kind of it's a big radar all that jazz but anyway so that is again like I say uh, from Cerisa Precision uh, good retail price, German radar station. I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, this is, again, another one of the uh, wooden kind of projects I'm working on for different kind of scenery for my battlefields and kind of uh, scenarios, things like that. If you like the video, drop us a like. Uh, if you have any opinion on it or ask, want to ask any questions about the product, by all means, uh, drop a comment below on the comment section oh down there ow i keep banging that every time um if you really like the channel and you check out some more of my videos and you see anything you like by all means do feel free to click that little click subscribe click subscribe because it really means a lot to me uh, as i get a bigger following obviously i'm going to bring up more videos because uh, it's kind of obviously a community based situation so I hope this has been a good video for you. It's been great putting this together and uh, reviewing the product. This has been Kragum. Oh, goodbye.